Thank you for watching this video. Please click on the like and subscribe buttons so that I can continue to make more videos like this. Hello, and welcome to this lesson on how to read blueprints for the commercial electrician. The reason I created this lesson was that I wanted to find the fastest way possible to teach you how to learn the essential elements of reading blueprints that you'll need for commercial electrical construction. Now, we feel that the best way to do that is to have a set of actual blueprints in your hand, and that's what your lesson includes. This was an actual set of blueprints used on a build out of about 3,600 square feet. Now there are many books on the subject of how to read blueprints, but books are just books. And you can look at a picture on a page, but it's really not the same at all as actually having the set of full-size drawings in your hand. And with these drawings, you're gonna be turning back between the pages. We're gonna teach you how to navigate between the pages on the print, how to find information and this is where the books fall far far short and it is my firm belief that with the video material in this lesson and with you following along with these prints it's gonna by far and away be the fastest way for you to learn how to read blueprints to get the most essential elements the basics on how to do this this isn't everything in in reading uh, commercial blueprints not by a long shot but a job this size with these features it's going to give you a very, very solid background to build upon. So if you work on a much larger project, a much more complicated project, you're going to have a really good head start. And of course, anytime you want, you can always go to those books. But I feel if you take this lesson first and then go to the books, you're going to get a lot more out of the books. So please, do your part as well. Follow along when we're uh, showing this lesson. If we pause and ask you to try and find something on your own, please do that. Don't give it a quick hit, okay? Put the effort in to learn what you can from this lesson. And I believe that if you do that, you're really going to be uh, way ahead of the game. You're going to uh, know a lot more than somebody that's just uh, been working with books. Because having the actual blueprints in your hand is, is going to put you farther ahead. So. Let's have some fun with this lesson, but let's take it seriously and let's learn what we can. Now, before we get into actually learning how to read blueprints, let's go over a few things on how to actually handle the prints themselves and keep them in good shape. Because the prints, they're what are going to guide you throughout the job, so you don't want them to be all torn up or dirty to where you can't find the information that you need. And, you know, it's not the Declaration of Independence, but still it's very important to the job that you're on. So the prints will usually come to you rolled up, and you want to roll them out on the table. So all you do, you take them, find out how they unroll, and just roll them out like so. So here we are, we've got the prints on the table. So you want to use a clean table when you're working uh, on the prints as well, keep it clean, or if you may not have a table necessarily on the job, if you can keep this on a stack of some sheetrock that's there, or if you have to put them on the floor, maybe put them on a piece of sheetrock or make sure the floor is clean. Uh, I've seen people leave prints on the floor, step on them, even bend conduit on top of the prints. Uh, don't put food and drink on the prints, they just get sloppy and dirty. and. Uh, you don't want food residue from you know several weeks before on the print when you're going through it. It can get kind of funky. Uh, don't write on the prints unless it's pertinent to the job uh, in, the, in that section of the print and it's a notation that needs to be made. I've seen people write personal messages, phone numbers and things like that. I've seen people rip a corner off of a print and write down a phone number. Uh, don't uh, tear the prints apart like that. And on the jobs that I've been on where I've seen that the prints are uh, mistreated like that, it's usually a job in chaos and that the people really uh, don't care about their work and it shows up in their craftsmanship. And if you've been watching our other videos, we're, we're teaching you to, to strive for excellence in all the work that you do. So please, 
you know, take care of the prints, keep them in good shape, and handle them properly. So now we're going to show you just some of the basics on how to handle prints so that you can uh, make sure they stay in good shape. So we're at the very front page of the print right now. Now let's suppose we want to go to the next page and look. Now if we need a quick look, all you have to do is just, you can take the one page, turn it over a little bit easy, and take a look, and then roll it back. Now if you want to completely change the page and go to the next page, a very simple way to do that, just roll the prints forward, put the one page on top, and roll it back. Now some of these things uh, might seem very elementary, but you know, we want to teach you the basics on how to do things and how to uh, do them in a nice manner. And uh, again, this lesson is typically for someone who's, you know, not used to handling the blueprints and they're, they're trying to learn this so they can uh, move forward in the trade. So that's how you can easily change uh, one page. Uh, so let's say you need to go several pages. Again, you can use the same thing. We're at page A, 0 0.2 right now. And let's say we want to go forward to page uh, A, 2.0. Well, we could just pick up those pages, roll forward, slide under, and then unroll, and then we're set back where we need to be set with our print. So we don't have to handle them roughly. We can handle them nice and easily, and yet we can still get around page to page. Now, what if we're in a situation where we need to go, uh, let, let's say A5.2 A is what we have here. That's about half of the pages on the print. Well, if you want to go that far, you can get to the page that you want, you can roll forward and just roll the other half there. If you pick it up, roll it out, and set it right back down. So again, it's it's just a matter of just being careful of handling them easily. You don't have to get frantic or get in a hurry when you're handling pages on the prints. Just uh, you know, learn how to change pages nicely and easily. Now I'm going to go to another page because I want to show something. The next page, A6.1, is what I want to be on. So to do that, I'm just going to roll up like we said. Put the print together. Now A6.1 is the reflected ceiling plan. Now what you're going to have to do it many times on the job is to compare this with the uh, electrical lighting plan. So let's do that right now. Now that is going to be on E3.1 uh, on this set of prints. Now the numbers aren't always the same on every set of prints. So that's one, one thing in the lesson you have to, uh, to keep in mind. So E3.1 is our lighting plan. Now I want to make comparisons between these two pages. So that means I have to have access to both pages. So the way to do this, I'm going to take the top one, the reflected ceiling plan, I'm going to lift up get about halfway and make a nice fold in it I'm going to just tuck it under like this and now I've got access to the electrical lighting plan and the reflected ceiling plan so I can compare information from this side with this side or if I need to get more towards this side of the I just uh, look here and I can get to this part of the page and when I'm done uh, I can easily change to uh, one page or the other. I can just pull it back like this for the reflected ceiling plan. If I want to go to the lighting plan, all I have to do is just gently hold it up, pick up, slide everything under, and I'm here at the lighting, lighting plan. So let's suppose now it's at the lighting plan and there's somebody working and getting information off of that for what they need and you're working on the power plan. Now that happens to be on the very next page. So you want to get some information off the power plan. So let's say the location for some boxes that you're repping in, you have to double check something. Well, all you have to do, and if they can still work on that, is you can roll it up nice and easy a little bit, find what you need this way, but they can still be looking over here. In other words, you kind of have to coordinate work together but if you just need something uh, kind of quickly, you, you can do it that way. 
and they can still keep working on a page that they need to be working on. So those are some of the easy ways uh, to handle blueprints and pages and how to navigate through them. And again, it's just a matter of taking the time just to handle them carefully and to make sure that you keep them in good condition. So now, one final thing is near the end of the day, we want to roll them up before we go home. We're uh, about halfway through the print, so we need to go to our front page. So let's do that. We find out what our front page is. So I'm just going to lift it up, just gently fold it over. Got it spread out here. And now I'm just going to line this up. Just let it roll up a little bit easy. Just like this. And you can easily store them away for the night. And this way in the morning when you go to uh, retrieve them, the planes are in just as good a shape as they were the day before. Thank you for watching this video. Please click on the like and subscribe buttons so that I can continue to make more videos like this.